I want to welcome Florida Congressman Byron Donalds, who is a member of the House Oversight Committee leading the charge on the Hunter and Joe Biden investigation. Congressman, welcome to Prime News. It's good to be with you. Thanks for having me on. Congressman, the evidence you all presented against the Bidens at today's press conference was, I mean, absolutely stunning, incredible. We're talking about human trafficking. What is the ultimate goal of this investigation? A lot of people are skeptical, saying, you know what, we keep seeing Republicans being investigated. We see Republicans going to jail, but we never see it happen with Democrats. Well, look, what you got to understand is there have been many questions surrounding Hunter Biden, uh, Jim Biden, the president, the, the brother of President Joe Biden. What is going on with the bill's business dealings? How is his family actually making money when the truth of the matter is there's been no discernible enterprise around them except politics? And so we have people who come forward, whistleblowers who have come forward, evidence that continues to come forward. And unlike the Democrats who pick a target and say, we want to do this thing, and then scour the earth looking for any particular data points to fill that narrative, House Republicans are committed to following the evidence and letting the evidence guide us to the conclusions that they're going to take us. Now, personally, I do think that there is a scheme going around where they've taken Joe Biden's influence and have peddled that across the globe. Why that is a problem is because Joe Biden is setting economic policy and energy policy and if you take a step back and just use common sense, it is not helpful to America. So if he's setting policy not helpful to America, what, what are the reasons for that? And when you start to dig into the business dealings and some of these other issues around Hunter Biden and Jim Biden, they lead back to Joe Biden. Congressman, this, I mean, maybe this is like a, a self-answered question, but can you name one single thing that Joe Biden has done good for this country? Because I know I can't. No. I mean, I wish I could. And this is the first president I've even in, in my lifetime where you can't point to one thing that has gone well. That's been the frustrating, frustration, frustrating thing for so many Americans. But at the end of the day, what House Republicans want to do is make a case through evidence, not hearsay, not through opinion and narrative built by the mainstream media, but through actual evidence of what is happening here. I mean, one of the most shocking things we learned presented today during the press conference was regarding human trafficking. Let's take a listen. One SAR generated by an American bank to the Treasury Department connects Hunter Biden and his business associates to international human trafficking, among other illegal activities. The SAR showed that Hunter Biden was conducting business with suspected human traffickers. The money gained through influence peddling was function was funneled to a suspected criminal enterprise. Again, one link to human trafficking. I mean, what more can you tell us about this? Does this have to do with China? I mean, we are talking about human beings being sold for profit and sex. Well, specifically in this suspicious activity report, there is a money trail from Hunter Biden and one of his firms to uh, a, 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 an organization that does have women who are being trafficked sexually in the United States. And this is awful to know and to see these developments. One thing I want to explain to the American people, a suspicious activity report from a bank is actually very hard to get in anybody's normal life. In most people's lives, you may get one, maybe one. Hunter Biden is tied to 150. And the Biden administration when Joe Biden became president, changed the rule on Congress's ability to access these reports. Whether it was Barack Obama, Donald Trump, or George W. Bush, Congress had the ability to view suspicious activity reports. When Joe Biden became president, he changed the rules so Congress couldn't get those reports. Congressman, moving on to Nancy Pelosi, who I still can't understand how she legally became so rich on a government salary. She's officially gone as speaker. If you could say something to Nancy, aside from, bye-bye, Nancy, what would you want to say? I really don't have much to say. Um, I think that Nancy Pelosi, if you're a liberal Democrat or somebody who believes in a radical agenda, you're happy with her leadership. But for the rest of us, her leadership has been a disaster for the country. Uh, she has pushed Democrats into a space where they truly have an agenda that is radical beyond anybody's thoughts or even or even 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 desires at any point. 
It's been damaging to the country. Uh, for her to be gone now, I'm actually glad to see that as an American citizen. For people who subscribe to that ideology, I'm not sure they have anybody as tough as she was to push their agenda through. And for the country, that's a good thing. Absolutely. Congressman Byron Donalds, I still remember when she was viciously ripping up that State of the Union address. So low class. Thank you so much for being on Prime News tonight. Anytime.